With filming for Rust shut down indefinitely, more behind the scenes details from the production are coming to light. Everyone on the camera crew was protected by shields. Um, and the camera was protected by shield. So that made me question me being in front of the camera and sort of in between all that fire. One of the actors from the movie speaking out, describing a scene when his character is shot and killed. Ian Hudson also telling TMZ he thought one scene he filmed felt life-threatening. When they shot at me, um, I actually did feel the blanks hitting my face and my body. And uh, I could feel the wind from the shotgun, you know, being discharged. It was heavy, it was strong. I would talk to my fellow cast members afterwards and we all agreed how intense that was and how scary and real it was. Hudson recounting discussions about an onset accident that killed the star of the movie The Crow. Brandon Lee having died in 93, you know, that conversation came up a couple times uh, between my fellow cast members and I. Um, just, you know, we're doing this the same way they did it then, 30 years ago. Um, gotta double check, gotta make sure. And honestly, I think the armorer, uh, having been pressed for time, as much as she was, was doing a fantastic job. Neil Zarimsky says he declined working on Rust over multiple concerns, including being asked to work as both an armorer and a prop master. That premise is flawed. There are so many things that go on in between the foreground and the background, and to have to cover that amount of territory and do it well is challenging for even a seasoned professional. Meanwhile, an inventory list from a search warrant reveals investigators found three revolvers, nine spent casings, and ammunition, loose in boxes and in a fanny pack on set. So was it loaded with a real bullet or one? We don't, I, don't, I cannot tell you that. Okay. We have two injuries from a movie gun shot. It's still unclear just what projected from the gun that killed director of photography Helena Hutchins. As far as the live ammunition, there's no reason it should ever, ever have come onto the set. Criminal charges have not been ruled out. CNN confirming reporting by the New York Times, a New Mexico district attorney telling the paper, quote, there were an enormous amount of bullets on the set and we need to know what kinds they were. The DA telling the Times detectives are focusing on whether live rounds or blanks were used on set. We've heard all these allegations down about the relaxed safety policies, that safety policies were not followed, that there wasn't proper supervision on this set, and not surprising at all that the district attorney says everything is on the table. This could be the last photo of Hutchins, seen here on set with Alec Baldwin, the image posted on social media by a crew member. Discharging any type of projectile is terrifying. Having been shot at multiple times and faking my death for the camera was enlightening to me in all the wrong ways. It's really unfortunate <laughs> to have what happened happen because, you know, they were just trying to make a movie. And as the investigation continues, many in the film industry are still in shock by the loss of their friend and colleague and the tragic way she died. You lost a very talented director of photography, camera operator, dreamer, and future director.